If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Good guys, morning to ya. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Somebody tell me. Woo <laughs> Good guys, morning to y'all. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing this morning? It is Monday. Whew. Jesus, be, a, be, be, be some strength today, Lord, ain't it? It's Monday. We done had a great weekend in the Lord. We done been feasting on our turkey and dressing for a couple of days now. Praise God. Amen. And it's time to get back to work. Praise the Lord. Look at God, ain't it? Woo! Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Good guys, morning to all of you, Michelle Boyette. Uh, Minister Little. Good morning, Sister Perry. Good morning, good morning. Good guys, morning to all of you, to the rest of you that are on. Good guys, morning to you. Say good morning to me so I can say good morning back to you. Listen, let us get our scripture for this morning. Our scripture this morning is coming from the great book of Luke. That's right. Luke chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. So Luke chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. And it reads, it says, there is nothing uh, 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 concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What you have said in the dark, oh, good God Almighty, will be heard in the daylight. And what you have whispered in the ear, in the inner rooms, will be Proclaimed from the roofs. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. let me double screen <laughs> this today so y'all can clearly see. And this is the word of the Lord for today. I ain't make this up. I ain't put this out there like that. This is the word of the Lord for the day. So let's talk about it. Y'all got y'all tea? I got y'all tea. I got some tea. Got some some type of juice my wife made. But anyhow. Let's talk about it, beloved. It says here that there is nothing concealed that not that will not be disclosed. Let me tell you something. God has a way of revealing things to us. And when I say us, I'm talking about the people of God. I'm talking about those who ask, it shall be revealed, it shall be disclosed. You know, it, it's interesting how people can talk. Um, about things and about you, you know, in in an inner room, uh, whisper in the ear. They can say things about you. They can talk about you. They can they can talk about you like a dog. But it's 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 mind blowing to me how in your face they can smile and act like in, everything is okay. That right there reminds me of a two headed beast. One side. You good and smiling, you all up in my face. And then the other side, you, ooh, you can't stand me. You talking junk about me. And listen, I got to tell you this. You got to understand, beloved, that God never leaves his people. And I'm, I'm going to say this again because you need to understand, first of all, don't worry about what people say because people going to talk about you from the day you were born to the day you die. And even after you are dead and gone, sleeping in your grave, they're going to still be talking about you. And all the talk ain't going to be good. That's just just life, okay? That's just life. And if we take time to worry about that, guess what? We will miss the opportunities. We will miss that which God has for us. We will miss joy. We will miss peace because you can't worry about what people are going to say, what people have said, what they talking about. Listen, they're going to talk, period, point blank. They're going to talk, okay? But this is what I've always been, been told. 
grandma used to tell me, you know, if they, if they, if people are talking about you, it lets you know that you're doing something right. Ooh. And listen, in this context right here, it's talking about, you know, God disclosing to his people the, the, the enemies, the frenemies. And it's important to know who the enemies, the frenemies are because you don't need to push them out. Hear me, beloved. You don't need to push them out. You need to push them out. You don't need to get rid of them. You need to keep them in your view. But you need to know the truth about them. You need to know what category to put them in so that you won't be hurt in the end. Hello? Come on. Be, be, be watchful. Be watchful. Be mindful. Let's use wisdom. You need to know what category to put them in and, and be mindful and watchful for of them. Because God told me that he'll make my enemies my footstool. So if you move your enemies out the way, if you move your frenemies out the way, if you get rid of them, disassociate yourself with them, they can't take you higher because God said, I'll make your enemies your footstool. Why do you need to make my enemies my footstool, Jesus? Because you're going to go higher and higher and you're going to get to the place in time and in life where I'm going to prepare a table for you in the presence of them same enemies, in the presence of them same frenemies. Hello. And they're going to sit there and watch you eat. And I dare them to say something. They going to sit there and watch you eat. And I dare them to move. They jump, they twitch, act like they don't want to do something. If they do something out the wrong way, I'm going to get them. Because they need to know that I have had my hand upon you from the day you I put you on this earth. I've had my hand upon you and it didn't matter what they said. It didn't matter what they did. It didn't matter who they talked to in the inner room, who they whispered to. Matter of fact, they were whispering and they were talking and they didn't know that they were talking to some people that were going to help you. They were talking to some people that were going to push you and help to move you to where I needed you to be. They didn't know. See, see what the enemy means for your evil. God is turning it around for your good. So let them talk. Let them talk. God preparing that table. It's going to be bigger than the Thanksgiving feast. I'm telling you. Ooh, ooh. Y'all might have had some just, just some chicken and ham and, and turkey. God going to have chicken and ham, the hog, the big old hog. He going to have everything, every parts of the hog, the, the, the ham, the, 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 the breast, the, 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 the neck, the face. He going to have everything laid out on that table, everything you could have thought about, everything you didn't think about for Thanksgiving. God going to have your table spread. Oh, and it's going to be on fine China, baby. And they're going to have to watch and sit there. And God going to be like, I damn to say a word. You say something? I thought I, thought I heard you sneeze. I thought I, look, I saw you look funny. I, I thought, I, oh, you, you, okay, okay, okay. Just be mindful now. That's my child. Don't mess with my child. Don't mess with my child now. Don't mess with my child. You, beloved, stop worrying. You continue to do what, what God has given you to do. God is just letting you know that everything, for everything that they've spoke in the light, for everything they've spoke in the dark. And let me just say this real quick. Some things are not meant for you to do, act upon. God just wants you to be aware of. You can know what they've said about you, but you can still smile. Praise God. How you doing? Bless the Lord. Mm -hmm. I see you. I see you with my good eye. I know. <laughs> Listen, you can, you, can, you can know what they said about you. God had revealed it to you, but still, you ain't got to act upon it. Because see, God going to get that. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. You just remember, he's making your enemies, your footstool, your frenemies, all them, your footstool. He's preparing you a table in the presence of them. He's making you aware of what has been said. 
so that you don't get caught up and twisted and 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 and, and, and to involve. You got to put people in their place. Some people are there for a season. Some people are there for a reason, and some people are there for lifetimes. Put them in their place so that when you, when it comes to the time where God has spread that table and you're sitting there with them in the presence of that friend of me, they be looking at you like. It's not a surprise to you, but it's a surprise to them. Yeah. yeah. Because, see, God wants us. And the reason I say it's okay to know about it and not act upon it is because God wants us to still love in spite of. I know. I know you probably want to go slap somebody and you be like, Bishop, I've just been turning my cheek. You, the Bible said turn the other cheek and turn the man slap you on one cheek. And turn the I've been turning the cheek. I've been turning. I've been turning. Ah! Bishop, I've been tired of the cheeks and I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. You just don't know. You just don't know what all I've been going through. You just don't know what all I had to endure. I understand. Now that you know, now that you know, you can remove, not remove, but put distance between you and them. Only a fool knows and still allows foolishness. Now that you know, put space between them. Put space. Put space. Put space. Put space. Put space. <laughs> I gotta go this morning. I gotta go. Okay? Listen. God is revealing some things. He doesn't want his children to be in the dark. He doesn't want people to think they have the upper hand on you. Be thankful that God has revealed. God is revealing. Okay? Be thankful. Be thankful. Now that you know, now it's time for you to do what's necessary. You have the upper hand now. Before, they were just talking to you and know it. And they were just laughing. You knew something. Yeah, you, you thought of me. Man, nah, they my friends. Nah, them church people. Nah, them not, mm, psh, baby, please. Now that you know, put space. Space. Somebody type space. 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 Come on, let's go. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. God, for this word, we thank you for this opportunity to come and fellowship and commune with you and our fellows and brothers and sisters. God, we thank you for this moment that you've allowed us to understand that, God, you're revealing who the enemies, the frenemies, and all those people that we thought and we think are for us. God, in this season that you're revealing them to us, not so that we can get upset, not so that we can be mad and go want to fight somebody, but God, you're revealing it so that we, you, we will know how to handle these people. We will understand that you are just preparing the table in the presence of them. We will know that you are just using them for our footstool. God, thank you for not leaving your people in the dark. Thank you for revealing things to us. God, we bless your name. We magnify you. We glorify you. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you, God. Hallelujah for where you're taking us. And God, help us, Lord, to put people in their proper place. Hallelujah. So that as we move forward, God, we can guard ourselves because you're guarding us. We can take a stance and, 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 and be, be mindful of what, what's around us. Be more careful more sure because God you have warned us we thank you we give you praise glory and honor we ask now these blessings in Jesus name continue to keep us oh God in your care bless those who are watching now God bless those that will watch later oh God and bless those that may have already been on this morning that they too receive this word God and that they can grow and move forward that they I know God that, that some of them might be hurt because the truth is coming out. Some of them might be offended. Some of them might want to seek revenge. But God, help us to hold our peace. Ooh, we 
hold our peace. Let the Lord fight our battle because, God, you're going to turn it around for our good. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, good guys want to see you. What up? What up? What up? What's going on, people? I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful Monday. It is another day that the Lord has made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Okay? Now that you know. Now that you know. Now you can do better. All right? Don't, don't get upset. Don't get mad. I know it hurt. I know. I know. I know. I know. I heard it all. I know. But God has let you know for a reason. Put space. Put space. Put space. Put space. Keep moving. Keep growing. Keep glowing. Whether they realize it or not, you're using them for the footstool. <laughs> God is using them for your footstool. Whether they realize it or not, He's preparing that table. <laughs> Listen, God preparing that table, and they think they're going to sit there and eat while you watch. Ah! <laughs> he flipped the script. Ah! Good God Almighty. Listen, I got to go. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day, as I said. Amen. It, it, continue to, to, to pray for one another, and y'all be safe, okay? Good God's morning to you. Y'all say good morning to Lady Karen. Good God's morning Sister Perry, good guys, morning. Minister Little, good guys, morning. Bambi Thompson, good guys, morning. But Beatrice, uh, if you had just easily, good guys, morning. Teacher Tamika, good guys, morning. Good guys, morning to you. Good guys, morning to you. Good guys, morning, Shelly. Good guys, morning to you. Good guys, morning, everybody. I think I got everybody. Good guys, morning to you. Good guys, morning, Michelle Satcher. Good guys, morning, Michelle Boyette. Amen. Good guys, morning to all of you. I think I got everybody. So good guys, morning to all of you. Y'all have a blessing, a beautiful day. Listen, if I didn't call your name out, charge it to the phone and not my heart, okay? Because I probably don't see your name, all right? Make sure you say good morning to me so I can say good morning to you, okay? Good guys, morning to you. Y'all have a blessing, a beautiful day again. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. The same time, same place for another good guys, morning moment, all right? Good guys, morning to you. Stay blessed. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.